pet store coming to Rogers is causing quite the controversy over its treatment of animals. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Crystal Martinez. Chelsea Helms has the night off. Fox 24's Andrew Epperson shows us how the community is reacting. $45.22. Desiree Green works at the Animal Clinic of Rogers. She's extremely unhappy one new pet store is moving into the city. If someone does have knowledge of this company and still thinks it's okay, um, I think that they should really question themselves. Petland, which has a corporate office in Joplin, is set to open at Pinnacle Hills Promenade in Rogers. Green worries about the company's business practices, which include pet payment plans and buying from breeders. Especially when we have so many dogs in the shelter who need homes. A U.S. Humane Society report published in 2009 revealed nearly every pet land store in the country bought from puppy mill dealers. The report says some continue to do so. If you take a look at yesterday's post about Petland on our Facebook page, you'll see most commenters aren't too thrilled with the company moving into Rogers. The owners of Petland sent me a statement today to rebuff the claims. A portion of it reads, there are poor operators in every area of every type of business, and we want to reassure anyone who has doubts in Petland Rogers that we are working with the best animal breeders. It says the breeders are licensed by the U.S. Department of Agriculture and state health agencies. I feel like there are people that will go there thinking that they're getting a good healthy breed for the amount that they're paying, but in reality, they're not healthy. Andrew Epperson, Fox 24 News. Well, in response to calls and social media posts regarding the pet store set to open in Rogers, Mayor Greg Hines released the following statement. I understand the concern of the proliferation and conditions of puppy mills and share those concerns. However, neither I nor my office have any statutory authority to regulate a pet store that has received and obtained the appropriate licenses. The Arkansas Department of Health regulates the sale of animals and has issued pet land a permit, and the store also meets the zoning requirements for its location. While there are bad actors in any business, the, vitally, the vitality of a company rests on the consumers and our free enterprise economy. This helps ensure that any business locating here will evaluate to the standards we've come to expect in Rogers.